Alrighty. Okay, everyone, I want you all to know, before you, in the process of doing consultation, and you getting ready to do your before and after pictures, these are good so you will have on hand while you're in the process of working with your clients so you'll know how to take your pictures when you're considering uh, hair color service. Now, first thing you wanna do first is always take and pull your model's hair back into a ponytail or away from her face. First thing is, is to pull that hair away from the face. You're gonna take a picture of that hair away from the face first. After you do away from the face, then you just let that hair hang off to the sides, as you know how, and then you will take a side profile of your client. And after you take a side profile, you want to make sure you turn her to the back. And you want to go straight down the center of that head. Pull that hair out to the side and take a picture of that back. After taking a picture of the back, I want you all to go in, take a strip, of that hair and you're going to pull it out with your finger and snap the picture of that color. So you will have a front, you will have a side, back, and pull out a strip of that hair for a color. And how many pictures is that? Four, Four so far, okay? Now, I'm going to take half of a square inch of hair and you all will have to team up and pair up together because you'll need somebody to take a picture of it. You're gonna get your swatch. I have three different swatches laid out here. This one look all chewed up. Hopefully you won't need that one. And you're going to have to check this hair strand to find out what level it is. Take it, pull it out, lay your swatch, right on top of it, and I'm looking at my client and she's just about a level five, okay? And you wanna take a picture of that with that swatch laying on this hair. Making sure that you're identifying so it helps you in the long run when you're considering hair color, you're understanding the levels, the tones that you might see throughout the hair color, and this is something that I don't care who. Call everybody, anybody that you see. Hey, can I do a, um, a, 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 a swatch test on you? I just want to find out your natural level and tone that's in your hair. So your eyes could start to begin to see what the levels should look like, okay? So this is going to be highly mandatory in the processes of considering hair color if you desire to be a hair colorist. I know some people go into different other areas, but this is for you that decides that you wanna do hair color in this, um, in this industry. So, after you've done all five of these pictures, take them, group them, you all have my email, send those to me by email so I can know and you'll get your grade for this year project. I have two mannequin stands here. I want you all to pair up in twos. Each person will be able to take a picture of that person's work while they're in the process of doing this. And then you switch up and then have the next person to do it. Are we good? Okay, so any questions? Okay, so everybody know what they're doing, right? Okay, talk to me. What's your uh, first picture? The front. And the second? The side. The third? The back. The fourth? Split that middle, take a square, a piece out, and then you take a picture of that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and then what's your fifth? Wow. Yeah, I got it. Okay, give yourself snap, snap. Great deal. So this is what I want you all to begin to do. And then after that, we're going to come over to the back, and I'm going to give you product. We're going to go through 
um, applications of version as well as retouch. And I'm gonna demonstrate that to you all.